Well, the match referee, Mr George Smith from Edinburgh, sets the game underway. Motherwell kicking off, and with the rain falling steadily here at Celtic Park, the pitch is in remarkably good condition. It's heavy all right, but no surface water, and it should be a perfectly acceptable surface for these players to demonstrate their abilities. Celtic themselves know they can afford no slip-ups if they're to maintain a challenge at the top of the league. They're five points adrift of Rangers at the top at the start of this match. So, victory this afternoon. Essential if they're to maintain any genuine prospects of being at the death. There's Peter Grant for the first ever of the match. And another by the one at that. Good play from Celtic, but enough pace in that pass though, although Paul McStay tried to retrieve it. Russell playing it wide. This is Kirk. The run was made by Russell. An open chance now for John Gagy for Motherwell. Mother will take the lead. Seven minutes on the clock. And a shot for Celtic. The defence was carved wide open. All played forward by Cook. It was an excellent run by Bobby Rustin behind the Celtic defence. There was no cover at all. The ball was played over to Gagan. He kept calm, not the ball beyond Pat Bonner. And there's a shot lead for Motherwell. Here's Cook. Brought down by McStay. No, the referee allowing play to continue. Celtic in possession, here's McCarthy. Barnes making a run. Excellent cover provided once again by Craig Patterson. That game is not quite so decisive though. Here's Barnes. Now McStay. Retaining possession well for Morris. McAvenny's head on on the save from Alistair Maxwell. Here's Steve Cook again. Supporting run on the outside from Wishart, followed by Walker. McCarthy on his own in the middle. Kirk was very strong on that challenge. Here's Russell, creating space for himself on the right. There's a chance for Gagan! Touched on by McGee. Here's Walker, now Mark McGee. Well, a real let off for Maxwell. Gagan on the left. Very good loser runner with the ball at his feet. He's away from Morris. The out swinging cross. There's Tom Boyd. O'Neill shot. An awkward one for Bonner. Well worth the effort from Colin O'Neill on this surface. Here's Kinnear. He's onside. Inside is O'Neill. Well, that's good play. Another one now sending players into the box. Here's Steve Kirk. There's Boyd. Superb near post run that by Tom Boyd. Switching play back towards McStay. Boyd caught in two minds. Here's Walker. Now McAvenny. Maxwell down bravely. There's McCarthy. And a narrow escape again for Motherwell. Billy McNeil coming from his seat in the director's box to the dugout with some instructions, I've no doubt, for his players on the field. Walker, a fast play from Celtic, a good build up this, here's Anton Rogan, and McAvenny misses from right under the crossbar, that look of disbelief tells the story, a great move this was from Celtic, fast and incisive, releasing Rogan on the left, there was McAvenny on his own, and how did he miss? McCarthy is back to Bonner, now midway through the second, so three quarters of the way through the match. And Celtic still passing on. There's Andy Walker. 22 minutes into the second half. Andy Walker scores against his former club. And relieve the tension of the Celtic Park passes. The long ball pumped forward by Bonner. And inside by McGee. There was McAvenny. Walker going in behind Craig Patterson and this was a superb finish. A 
Andy Walker's 12th goal of the season, putting Celtic back on level terms. McLean and his coaching staff very disappointed, of course, but they have been under a collar throughout the second half. Well, when Celtic won the championship last season, they won so many matches in the closing stages. Needing another big finish this afternoon. There's Bryce nodding on. Gagan trying to get in behind Morris. Slanting the ball across. Looks as though he may be suffering from trap. John Gagan, after all the running he's done. And he's helped off the field. And the replacement, a direct replacement, is the former Knox County player, Gordon Mitt. Slot into that position on the left side of midfield very comfortably. And Bill McNeil having a word with referee Smith, perhaps trying to ensure that enough time is added on for the stoppages. With a mistake by Bonner, there's Bryce, who couldn't take advantage. Cut comes in and Bonner saves the day, but there's O'Neill miscuing the shot. Here's Steve Bryce. That'll be a corner kick. What a comedy of errors in that Celtic defence. Pat Bonner right in the thick of it. Tom McAdams header. Here's Mick McCarthy as we go into the final minute of the match. And that's this time to be adding on for stoppages. The ball's skidding there towards Matty. Up goes McCart. A little challenging start at the edge of the box. And Celtic player on the ground inside the six-yard box. He hasn't recovered. Looks like Andy Walker. Russell is on side, he had a chance for Muller right at the end of the match. Mayer waits in the middle, so does Bryce. There's Mayer, back it goes to Boyd. Here's Russell again, setting up a shooting chance. Still Russell, and Bobby Russell has won the match for Motherwell. Surely that will be the clincher. Personified, fighting that across. There was Mayer. Boy, lucky with that sliced effort. Coming across to Bobby Russell. He went one way, then the other, checking inside, making certain he opened up the goal. And that finish, too much for Mick McCarthy on the line. So there's Bobby Russell, who played here so often in Rangers colours. Well, he's a very happy man indeed. Just made the team this afternoon after injury. Saluting the Motherwell fans behind Alistair Maxwell's goal. There's a hold up now for injury. The Motherwell fans haven't had the chance to celebrate a victory here in the league in the last 12 matches. And now a dramatic victory looks to be on. Referee checking his watch carefully. It's won by Mayer. Here's O'Neill, a long chase for Bryce. And there goes the final whistle. Muller will have won with that dramatic goal from Bobby Russell. Tony McLean is out of the dugout. Tony McNeil departs a very unhappy man. That may well be the kiss of death for the Celtic Championship Hulks. And it was delivered by the former Rangers player, Bobby Russell, who was outstanding in the Muller cause this afternoon. Motherwell fans celebrate, they haven't had a chance to do that for so long here at Celtic Park.